up, guys? It's me, your badass here, Straven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Sword walkthrough. Merry, uh, Christmas Eve Eve, I should say? Probably? I don't even know. I really don't know. I gotta acknowledge that a little bit more. So, in our last episode, we went through the Galar Mine, and now it is time for us to go through Route 4 and Turf Field. That way, we can get, actually get started for the Pokemon League Challenge. Now, off screen, I have been capturing a lot of Gigantamax Pokemon. I stocked up on a lot of stuff, plus I bought a few gadgets here and there just in case for, you know, situations like this. So, let's see, let's go ahead and talk to her. Hi, uh, me and my big sister have set up ourselves up a, a pop-up, a Pokemon Center service. Not that we asked for anyone if we could or should, you, you've done a good job making, this, uh, making it this far, I'll heal your team up for you. Okay, so in every corner your Pokemon will be healed up. And, uh, well, now it is time for us to actually head into Route 4 right here. Now, as you can see, there's another camping site right here where we can actually attend. And there is a big old tree with a bunch of berries, so you guys already know what's going to happen right here. Hopefully, we get all our berries. There's one. All right, let's do it again. Shake it right now. That's two. All righty, so everything's going well. And three, and look at that. We got more berries than anybody else. I am not going to shake it again because... Usually beyond three, you usually get another Pokemon, taking all our berries and all that stuff. Now, we are in an area right here where you can actually battle a lot of trainers and a lot of Pokemon. And that is exactly what we're going to do. Now, if you guys haven't noticed in the beginning of the of this whole episode, yes, Krakatoa has finally evolved into its next Pokemon right here. Let's go ahead and take a look at our new Pokemon, Karkoal. Now... If you guys don't remember this Pokemon, this is the same exact Pokemon that was going like popping up on the on the railway in the Galar Mine, and now it's gained the capability of being a Fire type Pokemon. And look at that, it learned Flame Charge. Now here's another cool thing too: it does have Flame Body. Yeah, if you attack it physically, it will, you know, get burnt and all that stuff. But this is what I also learned about Pokemon eggs too: if you have a Poke Egg right next to a Pokemon that has Flame Body, bam, you know. The egg process is a little bit easier and all that stuff. So, let's go right ahead and start battling some Pokemon trainers. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's what you guys wanted to see. So, here it is, another trainer. I'm doing special training while camping to train my Pokemon. The finishing touch will be a battle with you. You don't say. Alrighty, so here we go. We're taking on Pokemon breeder Jamie. And he's going to be coming out with a Galarian Meow. Look at that. Galarian Meow. This guy looks like a Viking and all that. There is quite a funny thing about this Pokemon too. It is a Steel-type Pokemon as well. Well, it will evolve into a Steel-type Pokemon. So that probably should be a good, uh, good addition to the team and all that stuff. It does evolve into a Perserker, not a Persian and all that stuff. But it, you know the funny thing about that too is that it never really shows the reason to why Galarian Meows are the way they are. It, it just is. I mean, when I was playing Pokemon Sun and Moon, yeah, kind of, kind of explain the, the the reasons why the uh, the uh, Alolan Pokemon are the Alolan Pokemon and all that stuff. And well, this guy came prepared with a potion, so we're gonna continue doing our thing right here. Let's see if we can go with a bite. There we go. And Meowth could not move, so the the boot is in the uh, the shoe, or the shoe is on the other uh, foot right there. And look at that, Meowth defeated. What now, Meowth? And everybody's gaining points. Like I said, guys, I was training my Pokemon off-screen in the uh, in the wild area. Yes, I caught quite a few Pokemon, and wow, I am excited. So here we are, Krakatoa, ready to kick some butt right here. And we're going to be going up against a Butterfree. And so, now that we got a Flame Charge, let's go ahead and use a Flame Charge right here. Look at that. And it increases its speed, so yes, Krakatoa kicks his butt. Yes, sir, look at that. And three of my Pokemon grow levels, which is great. Look at that. Drago, Optimus Prime, and Shadow Blade. Now, I'm going to continue doing this right here. Now that, you know, Krakatoa does have a little bit of an increase in, uh, in speed, let's go Flame Charge again. And look at that. Love the way how it turns its wheels. I really do. It's pretty cool. Look at that. And, uh, well, Balto, Big Booty Balto grows to level 20, as well as Michelangelo. And Big Booty Balto. 
learning nut or spark attack. So let's see. It is a well, not really a special attacker. Let's see. Spark is a physical. Oh, okay. Well, let's take away tackle. And there we go. Look at that. Alrighty. And we defeated Breeder Jamie. He's not too happy about that right now. I am, because that's another victory right there in the Gala region. Now, we're going to be entering an area where there's a little bit new, or there are new Pokemon in, uh, involved. And, well, kind of need to take on that kid who's been moving around. So, let's go ahead and bring out Drago. And, uh, let's see. Try not to get the attention of these Pokemon right here. I think these are Punkaboo. Alrighty. What do you think? I look, I look, uh, or I look just like a Pikachu, right? Well, a Pikachu on crack. That's pretty much what it is. So here we go. Pokey Kid Shane wants the battle, and he is coming out with a Pikachu. Ain't that cute? It really is cute, guys. It really, really is cute. So let's go ahead and use Bulldoze Attack just to make our oh crap baskets. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dr yeah, Drago. Come on, man. Don't let me down. Look at that. One hit KO. Ah, uh, Drago. Well, I still have high hopes for Drago. Like I said, guys, Drago, or Jamo'o, yes, is a Pokemon that I originally wanted to capture in Pokemon Sun and Moon. Since I couldn't, or couldn't play the game, I might as well use them right here. And trust me, guys, there will be a lot more Pokemon on to, on to this series right here, because I'm intending to make this walkthrough a little longer than expected, because... Holy crud, it is a it is a very interesting one, especially with the expansion pass that, that comes with this whole game. Now in this area right here, you'll be able to find some good Pokemon, like, uh, as you can see, Big Booty Balto's little friends, he's going to be following you around, and he will follow you around, good god! And we found a rare candy, look at that. So you guys got to be fast, now, I don't intend to use a Repel very much, because, you know, why not? And holy crap, there's a Meowth. There's Pokemon attacking me. Oh crap, there's a Raiden right there. Jeebus Kramini. And I'm just looking for all the items right here. Look at that. We got a cleanse tag, which, you know, the item held by a Pokemon helps keep wild Pokemon away from the holder in the head of the party, which is cool. So I should probably give that to somebody. And here we can find wild Pikachu, which I'm not going to capture because I already did. I already caught both my male and female Pikachu. Both, uh, oh crud, both Sparky and Leah, and, well, I'm trying to run away from all these Pokemon right here. Look, that Pikachu is trying to catch, oh, look, there's an Eevee, oh, and this is a place where you can capture Eevee, so I know where to go off screen, and good gravy, oh, 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 these guys are demonic or something. All right, trainer tips, a Pokemon moves can be physical moves or, sp or special moves, wow burping. A high attack that makes physical moves deal more damage, and a high special attack uh, makes special moves deal more damage, which, you know, it is something very, very big that this whole game has taught me, is how to split the physical and special stats, and, well, before we go into that fishing, let's go ahead and grab that sharp beak, which powers up any flying type Pokemon capability, so let's go ahead, see if we can find a Pokemon, what kind of Pokemon can we find? And here it is, a Magikarp. Funny thing is that I've already captured a Magikarp. It's at level 18. This guy's at level 15. Now, I would capture another Magikarp to make it Hydra 2 through, you know, 6, I believe. But I kind of need a shiny one. So eventually, I will be getting a shiny Pokemon. I think I have a shiny one from uh, Pokemon Sun and Moon. Literally ca caught it. Yeah, so let's see. Let's go with Big Booty Balto right here. And while we're at it, hold on. I got to power up uh, my Pokemon right here. Let's see. Where are you? Okay, those are berries. These are uh, other items. So here we have a Sharp Beak. Let's go ahead and give that to Shadow Blade. And Leftovers. Let's go ahead and give that to... You know what? We're going to give that to Big Booty Balto. And Heavy Duty Boots. Prevent effects. Well, we got nothing right now. A silk scarf. Who will that? Nothing. Uh, nobody. Okay, so that's pretty much it right there. And as you can see, I got a lot of experience candy. The extra small. 
uh, small, and then, you know, regular rare candies right there. And like I said, guys, I was capturing a buttload of Pokemon off screen. So here it is. 50 years of raising Pokemon. Did you come to see my progress? Oh, jeez. 50? Homie, you don't even look 50 years old. I need to have what you're having. Okay, so here we go. Bradley wants to come out with an Electric, and oh, crud, I made a mistake right there. Well, it's never a mistake with Big Booty Balto. Look at that. Look at the booty on that Pokemon right there. So, let's go ahead and use Swift Attack. I did teach this Pokemon Swift. And there comes that Quick Attack right there. So, here we go. Swift does a great deal of damage. And look at that. The leftovers are working for my, bo my Big Booty Balto right here. Look at that booty, man. Look at that. Kind of reminds me of my, uh, my Nisa Leah's uh, dog, Princess. Now, if this was going to be a female, uh, ball, or a female, uh, Balton, or, or Corgi, or whatever it was, Corgon, or whatever the Pokemon name is, I was going to name it Princess after my niece's, uh, doggy right there, and, well, let's go again with another swift attack, and this guy, he's using a potion, and, wow, he's making us work for this, so here we go, another swift attack right there, and more healing for my Pokemon right now. So, I think I chose the right Pokemon for this whole situation, and let's go Swift Attack again, but this guy is going to continue going with a Quick Attack, and here we go, Big Booty Ball to Swift Attack, finish him off. I'm sorry, other Raiden. And look at that, Krakatoa grows to level 20, and it wants to learn Ancient Power, a very good move, so this is a good time to take away Rock Blast, don't really need it anymore, look at that, 3, and ta-da. It's learned Ancient Power, a very, very good Pokemon move. And look at that, Big Booty Balto. Gaining level, or gaining, not gaining experience, but you know what I mean. Alright, so he's about to come out with a low Ted. I do have a Pokemon for that particular Pokemon, so let's go with a Shadow Blade. It has been a minute since I've seen you. Look at his Pokemon. And here comes low Ted, ready to kick some butt right here. Alrighty, let's go with the Pluck. And luckily for us, that Lotet does not have a uh, Quick Attack. Imagine every single Pokemon having Quick Attack. That would be hilarious. And look at that. Getting more experience points, and we defeat Bradley. Well, I didn't raise them for 50 years. So wait, are you 50 years old, or what, 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 what the hell is going on? Uh, ship Raider, beginner, to win. Okay, whatever. I, I guess he's a beginner. Okay, so let's see. There's more Pokemon right here. As you probably already noticed, you can capture both Eevee and Pikachu in this location. Uh, just remember, the Eevee and Pikachu that you usually get from the people over at the train station, the straight, uh, the train station. Those are uh, those are limited po uh, those are limited Pokemon, or no, not limited Pokemon, but those are special Pokemon, special Pikachu and special Eevee. They cannot evolve, and this only happens if you've actually had data from Pokemon. Let's go, Eevee and Pikachu. Uh, remember, those Pokemon cannot evolve. So if you guys want to have a full collection of Raichu and the Evolutions, this is the place to go to actually find them and actually evolve them and all that stuff. So let me see. What else? What else? What else? Let's go ahead and switch out these Pokemon. Now, there is something else that's special about both the Pikachu and the Eevee that you get from uh, at the very beginning right here. So let's go ahead and take a look at Aaliyah right now. As you can see, it does have an X right next to its name. That usually means that it has a new form of Dynamaxing. Ba basically meaning if you compare this this Pikachu to that Pikachu, Aaliyah would have a special form for its Dynamax uh, form. And it, ha it would definitely have a special attack for it. Now, here's Eevee right here. Let's go ahead and take a look at its name right here. As you can see, it does have the special X right there next to its name. So you ha you definitely have two Pokemon that are for sure, for sure going to be special Dynamax Pokemon. And as you can see, it doesn't really have all that great of attack, but eventually one of those normal type attack will be a special Dynamax attack as well. So there we go. We got ourselves two of the special Pokemon right here. Uh, as you guys can see, uh, <laughs> yeah, I caught a lot of, a lot of new Pokemon. I even caught a, a Togepi. Look at that. First time. So, let's go right ahead and continue on our adventure right here. And, well, I do not want to get attacked by anybody, especially that Pokemon that can, like, corner me. And, wow, holy crap. And here we have a Pikachu. Alrighty. 
Okay, so here we go. Pokey Kid Rice wants the battle. Or Reese? Or is that what you name him? Reese Rice? I don't even know. Coming out with its Joltik. And, well, Drago starting off. Let's go right ahead and use that Bulldoze attack. All right, look at him. Stomping the floor. Look at that. Takes half its HP right there. And look at that. Its speed has gone down just a little bit more. But here comes a Bug Bite. Holy crud. Okay, let's go. Bulldoze for the win again. Look at... Oh, crud! Come on, just beat him. Ah, jeez. Okay, Bug Bite again. Look at this. Oh, oh. Drago. Fighting, fighting pretty good. But here we go with another Bulldoze attack right here. Look at that. Smashing these Pokemon. Now, in real life, Joltik, it is tiny. It is, like, not bigger than my thumb. And here he's going to come out with a Grubin. Or a Grubbin, and I don't necessarily know what Pokemon it is, so I'm gonna go with Michelangelo. I could be wrong. Holy crud. Alrighty, so here we go. Michelangelo versus Grubbin. And oh wow, it is the it is one of the the, the bug type Pokemon you normally find over in uh whatchamacallit in uh in what was it? Alola, yes. So there we go. Uh Water gun attack, and here comes that bug bite. So let's go with the bite attack right here. See how physical we can get. Let's go. Bite attack. Takes him out. Yes, sir. Look at that. Groupin just been defeated right there. Pokemon are growing. And Reese has been defeated. Alrighty. Okay, so let's see. Ah! Ah! Kid, protect me. I will give you... I got ourselves a TM07. Pin Missile, which is a very good move. Well, good bug type move. And, uh, well, we're running away from all these Pokemon because they do chase after you. And, look at. Oh, damn it! And, look at. Oh, damn it! Oh, I was so close. So close! Okay, alrighty. Let's go ahead and take a run. We do not want to battle you right now, homeboy. We do not want to do that right now. So. Let's see, we got, a, we got another Pokemon battle, and let's go ahead and use Optimus Prime for this situation right here. And that's right, he looked at me. I'm an Eevee! I'm full of possibilities. This is true, he ain't lying. He ain't lying, so here it is. Poke Kid Mia wants the battle, and she is coming out with an Eevee right here. Look at that, how cute Eevee looks. Now... One of the biggest things right here that I never really got is why why Pokemon or Nintendo or whoever owns these guys right here didn't come out with another evolution in Pokemon uh, Sword and Shield. It would be appropriate because, you know, we did have Pokemon Let's Go Eevee and all that stuff. It would have been nice to have, like, maybe a Steel-type Pokemon or a Fighting-type Pokemon. I mean, the Galar region is filled with a bunch of Steel-type Pokemon trainers, so... Yeah, I mean that would have been that would have been something right there. Comment down below what you would have, what what evolution would have it would have been if you know they had actually made a new evolution right here. Whoop! It ah! <laughs> oh, he, uh, oh God! They're still following me. Okay, I can do this. He's not hiding right behind. And go. Oh, grab that item, and we got a revival herb. Don't need to read that right now. Let's go. Let's get the heck out of here. Look at that. Okay, so... Whew! Escape from all these Pokemon. Now, this is going to be a little bit hard because these these Diglett just, like, they pop out of nowhere. And they're very fast at it, too. So, let's go right ahead and... What the hell? Oh, that's a... Yeah. Okay, we're gonna sneak. Sneak, sneak, sneak. That's right. We're being conspicuous. They don't know shit. Oh, crap. He knows. Ah! Oh, God. God damn Electrike. Oh, jeez, man. These Pokemon just like... They chase after you. You know what the scariest Pokemon to be chased by? It's Sneasel. Sneasel is freaking fast. It is like faster than fast. No, actually, another Pokemon that is fast is Tyrogue. That Pokemon just like sneaks up on you. And here we have a 2x accuracies. And another Eevee Trainer. What's up? Okay, now I say a wild Poke Kid appeared. This is true. You ain't lying. You ain't lying. Okay, so here we go. Taking on Poke Kid Sunny. Ready with a Milkery. 
This is a new one. I want to know where the where to find that milk rate. I've been wanting to capture this guy for a while. So let's go right ahead with a razor leaf attack right here for the win. And for the win it is. Yes. Suck it, Milkery. And yes, our Pokemon grow levels like crazy. And well, oh, it's already over? Yes it is. But she's happy because you lost. Make love, not Pokemon or whatever. I don't even know. Get out of the way. These Pokemon are trying to attack me. Woo! Woo! Where are where do you think you're going? Eh. The hell? Oh crap. And it's a Wooloo crashed into you and stopped. Oh damn. Alright, I'm getting up. My, are you okay? You took a tackle head on. Hmm. Oh, you must be one of those gym challengers, right? Yes, indeed. Uh, I thought so. I saw you at the opening ceremony. My name is Milo. I'm a gym leader and a rather partial to grass type Pokemon. I've been itching to see just how good the champion doors gym challengers are. Let me find out in my gym stadium. Just head on through the, this route and you'll run right into my stadium. See you there. Come on now, back to the stadium with you too. We can't keep uh, the gym challengers waiting. Bah. Okay, this Pokemon is uh, pretty cool and all that stuff. Okay, walking around, strutting this thing. Look at that. Okay. So I guess, uh, you know, Milo already knows that we're here. So we're just going to be walking straight through. And seriously, bro, do you have to be everywhere I am? Good God, man. For once, I would like for my rivals or my, yeah, yeah my rivals to just leave me the fuck alone. Alright. Look! Just take a look at Draven! That's Turfield Stadium down there. Oh, it is. Huh. And, wow, that's a pretty nice stadium. The gym, the gym leader just returned, too. Milo is his name. But the place is jam-packed with challengers. It'll be ages before our turn uh, comes up. Oh, but Sonya was looking for you, Draven. She wanted to ask you about something she tried asking me, but I had no idea. She's up on, uh, What's-Her-Face Hill. You know, the one. What? You don't know what, uh, you don't know the hill? Well, have a look at, at your map, or have a look at your map if you're not sure. Bow wow. Who is that? Oh, big booty, Balto is there. Oh, if it, if, if it isn't Sonya's Yamper. He's a good boy. He'll show you the way. Big booty, Balto. Look at that, okay. All right, so we're going to be looking for Sonya right now. And I think that will complete our little uh, adventure right here. Now, if you go right here, a little big booty Balto is still uh, leading us to uh, Sonya, our girlfriend Sonya. And look at that. We're up in the hill right here. Bow wow wow. Yippee yo, yippee yay. That's right. Okay, so let's go right ahead and uh, take a look at what Sonya has to talk about. And there she is, looking beautiful as hell. Thanks, Yamper. Bow wow wow. Yippee yo, yippee yay. Okay. I had you come because I wanted to hear what you thought. Ooh, look at that. Oh. Oh, wow. That's the, Those are some nice markings. So, the Geoglyph, what do you think of it? Dynamax or Darkest Days? I think it's Dynamax. Seems likely. It certainly looks like a gigantic Pokemon. I suppose people 3,000 years ago could have just imagined this, but it looks too similar to Dynamax. It can't be just a coincidence. Oh, look, look at that. A Dynamax Pokemon. A long time ago, a great black storm covered the Gala region. Giant Pokemon ran rampant. But what was the that black storm they called the Darkest Day? What connection does it have to Dynamax Pokemon? Guess I'm lucky. I'm the lucky lady who's looking into that. Grand sure gives me a lot to do. Mm, 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 mm. She looks fantastic, guys. I'm not going to lie, but yes, she looks fantastic. Thanks for your thoughts on the matter. As a thanks, I'll give you a lead card. And here we have Milo's lead card. You put the lead card back in your album. And Milo's grass type gym leader. Things will go well uh, for you if you use fire, flying, or bugged moves. Take these two. Uh, it'd be pretty bad if your Pokemon weren't in fighting form. And we get ourselves two revives, which is pretty good. Go on then, get yourself to Turfield Stadium and battle yourself silly. All right, big booty Balto's right there. Okay, so that takes care of that. 
I might as well grab some items while I'm at it right here. So, here we have one item. Three X attacks. Nice. And... Wow, the, 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 these are pretty nice items here, too. There is a Pokemon that looks like this. And if you talk to this guy... Such mysterious stone structure. Were they made by people or Pokemon? Do not know. And here we have a shiny item. And look at that, we found ourselves a Leaf Stone. Uh, mind you, that it, over at Route 3, I did find a Thunderstone. And, and another trainer that we did not battle. So that, that right there just, uh, yeah... That's just a big, uh, big, big, big sorry to all of you guys. They, they were, like, trying to tell me about that. Now, we're going to be going to the other side right here. What is so special? We're trying to look for some items right here. You go down here, I think we'll find nothing. Except for just the big old stadium right there. This is a big old farming community right here. Look at that. Okay, and another place. And then this is a good place to actually fish. And to ride your bicycle, too. Now... Sorry, but Team Yell caused quite a uh, kerfuffle, and now the bridge is on a bit of a state. We'll have things clean quick as, ca as can be done, but can you give us some time? Sure. So I guess I'm going to have to beat the gym leader before I can go back over there. So that is pretty much it right there, guys, for this episode. Merry Christmas Eve Eve, I should say. Uh, you know what? Let's go into the Pokemon Center, see what we can find. Only one trainer. Oh, only one person right here. So... Yes, we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be finishing our episode right here. Now, there is something that I forgot to mention uh, a few episodes ago that you guys need to learn about. This is what I mean when it comes to having all your Pokemon trained up. Now, as you can see, you got check boxes, try a lotto ID, check Poke Jobs, and use the Poke Card Maker. Now, the check Poke Jobs, this is a big one right here. This is what's going to get all your Pokemon all leveled up. Pokemon are, high, are in high demand as helpers in the Galar region, and you are able to send your own Pokemon out to, out to help out on jobs. The Pokemon you send out will grow stronger from the experience they gain. The, the job postings will be updated every day. Good things will begin to happen if you send lots of Pokemon to many jobs, so keep an eye out for new postings and help out as much as you can. So our first job right here is we're looking for normal type Pokemon. Together we can make cloth that you can use in the, any way you want. As you can see, it says Pokemon Wanted, up to three. The experience points, one star. Eventually it goes up to possibly ten stars right here. This right here will keep on updating every single time. The better the job your Pokemon do, the more job listings you get. And then from there, the more Pokemon you send out. And the less training you have to do for your Pokemon. Now remember... Eventually, your Pokemon will be strong enough to be, like, gym ready and everything. They'll be learning some moves that you don't want on them. And this is where, you know, the guy right here actually changes up your Pokemon moves. So, we're going to send out three Pokemon right here. And, again, it it's usually for the day, guys. So, if you were planning on using that particular Pokemon, think hard and... Uh, Think long and hard before you send out that Pokemon. So as you can see, I'm going to send out Eevee because it does it does have a special Gi Gigantamax uh, form. So that's one. I could send... Oh, wait. Togepi is a fairy type in this game. Let's go ahead into the next one right here. As you can see, I, I caught quite a few Pokemon. And there are empty spots right here because I did send them to the Pokemon... Uh, the Poke Storage. You know, that, that Poke... I can't remember what it was called, but... Yeah, I did send them right there, and then send them over to Pokemon uh, Shield. And some of them were doubles as well. Let's see. We got a Minchino. And, oh wow, we, we already filled up three boxes. In Pokemon Shield, it took me like a few weeks, maybe a full month, to actually get the whole thing, uh, get to like at least three boxes. So, we're going to go with normal types right here. And actually, uh, let's see. I need to view the stats right here. Okay, so this is what actually which is actually going to help me out. So... It needs three type, uh, three normal types. Eventually, you'll have dual type Pokemon right here. Again, think long and hard of which Pokemon you want to use. I got two Rufflets for some reason. Uh, yeah, I got two Rufflets. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to send out, of course, an Eevee. And, well, Score Bunny is a fire type Pokemon, so let's see. We're... I don't... Eh, well, you know, it, it's three Brandon Pokemon right here, so... Let's go ahead and send out Wooloo and Score Bunny. Just three pure normal type Pokemon right here. So, now, you got the option 
to switch up which Pokemon you want to send and all that stuff. And you got an option of what to do. A whole day actually gives him a full amount of experience points. Half day is partial, and of course, a very long day. Long, wow. Just a little, look at that. I didn't even notice about the very long. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for a full, a whole day. So, the next day, we're possibly being, possibly being tomorrow, which is Christmas, I will be getting these Pokemon back. And, uh, well, that is pretty much it right there, guys. So, that is that right there, guys. Stay tuned in the next episode. We're going to be doing another gym battle and everything. And, or we're going to be doing our very first gym battle. And uh, quite possibly changing up our clothes and all that stuff too. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.